Okay, so what I noticed last night was um, when I looked at the picture in the lower light, I could see that um, her um, her left eye is a bit too bright, so it needs a bit darkening. So I'm just going to do that now while I think of it before I do anything else. So I'm just going to use uh, dark grey and then we'll use a bit of green in it as well. I had a bit of trouble with the shadow, getting the video right today with the shadows and the sun. And, um, yeah, I can really see where I went wrong yesterday now. Well, what I really needed to put in. see the difference this makes to make it look really good really real will be considerable I think I can see now it's amazing what you can see and also looking at your picture on um, on the phone or you know on a camera uh, you'll really see a lot that you don't actually see when you've been working on the picture it's it's just throwing another another view of it. It's, it's really interesting. That's got to be a nice smooth transition down there. Just do that, sharpen that up a bit. That's actually going over. always do as well is before I start to draw um, I usually just sit and look at the picture and it's it's surprising what jumps out at you really just have a look at it just sit there and look at it and if you're not really feeling like actually drawing either just looking at it makes you think oh that needs doing and you jump up and make a start so that's quite a good thing to try if you, if you feel um oh, don't know if I can really face it today and um, don't know, I'm not really in the mood, anything like that, just sit and look at it and I'm sure you'll be inspired to get jump up and start it. Anyway, give it a try. Always works for me anyway. And, you know, this probably won't be the end of the eye work I do on here. I tend to, you know, spend a lot of time on the eyes. This is a bit brighter in here, so I'm going to use the lemon just to brighten it up a bit there. Just touching it very slightly there. Let me just dab it. And I can see a darker line going through here now. a lot darker down here. There we are. That's better. A bit better. I'm going to put a bit of mustard colour in there. So that yellow I used just to get the, the bit of light in there. It's, uh, it's a great colour actually, it's 102. And the mustardy colour that I was talking about yesterday, I didn't give you a number for, it's one, the 184. But there's only two yellows in the 12, so um, they, they're all good colours actually, they're all very, very useful. 
I'm just doing it this here because it's, it's got a little bit more of a, a warmth to it, just there. Do the lemon colour there because it's a bit it's a bit brighter there. And there. It's quite a strong, quite a strong line, and it's coming up from here above that little blue corner of his eye. That's it. Okay. Right, so I want to get more of this side in before I do the nose, I think, so that it's all kind of on its way there and I don't have to lean across her nose once we've done it. So I'm just going to put some, um, some black I think, yeah, black in there because we've already got the grey on you see, in the paper. This bit needs to come on there first. Trying to keep the hairs and going in the right direction there. That's all our little bits that we put on. They're all ready to go to guide us. And this is coming out from here. Yeah, this is the the other little white patch there. And then it's kind of going round. Let me put some there just a bit parallel. Strong there, very strong here. There's a bit of blue in there as well. Um, and then this line is coming just about here, measuring it on here. See, it's kind of halfway up, really. Just get it in there, the shape. Uh, it's a bit squared off at the end here. Just get the shapes in. See that shape. This squared bit here is getting more into points, but you can put the hairs in that. Um, and measure this bit here on there. It's just where, it's just about there. So you, you know you're going to be just going to about there with the thickness of it. And then the feathery bits will be there. We'll just, you know, blend them in a bit now. So this is whiter than this. Uh, fawny bit there, and we haven't even put the little marks on there yet, but, but we can do that after. We have lots of little streaks in there, and then we can put some more fawny bits on after as well. And then this is even lighter here, we'll, we'll pop that in there just to get the base in going in there. That's a bit darker there, that little bit there. It's just got a bit of white on there, so you don't have to worry about putting any more on. And then, that's right, this is coming here, and we go across there. But it's very dark, see, very, very dark. Just marking it in there, where we need to go. And this is lovely and white. Although, again, it's in shadow, so it's blue, it's lilac. Uh, but that they all go on top of the white, because otherwise it would be too intense. Which, you know, might suit people, some people, really well. Right, I'm going to put some darker, dark grey on now, so this is a 175. Side of the pencil. So you don't get too much pastel on and you get better coverage this way as well, the quicker, quicker to put it on. There, to disturb that line there, make it darker. We won't want that line on there. When we when we blend it, that will just disappear. Let's 
I'll just mine going down like this. I'll put this all in because it is quite dark. I could put the lighter colours in there with top set. And then um, I've got this bit here that's dark under there. And then this bit is there. That's that bit there. And I've already measured it out pretty well, so that's fine. Just put a bit of darkness in through there. That one's there. Some dark bits there. And then that one's a bit darker there. And then of course to put a bit of darkness in here. Just there. Just mapping it the, the base out now really. And then over the marks I've already put in there because they're, you know, I might just be putting them in again. Like just that. Just that. Look at this. That's thinner. hold the pencil like that, it's quite good for doing hair, getting that hairy shape, it's nice. And then I'll put this, I've got some dark, a couple of dark patches there, and then that's dark on there. Then this is coming in, that's coming in. If you look at the side of her head there, that's coming in just about inside there. So. You can use all of this, you can use for measuring the whole time. Use the rest of the picture for measuring. Looking at this, where that starts, that start in there, those hairy bits. And then there's another patch coming down there. That's right, matches in with that. Okay, that'll do for now. So we're just going to rub that in a little bit, just so that it covers the paper underneath. So we've got a bit of a base there. Then, um, firstly, I, I'd like to get rid of those, that um, edge there, where we can see the white trace down paper on there. So I'm just going to go over that a bit stronger. This, this is black. just do that and it gives it a kind of furry look anyway um, then we want the we want the little thing so we're just going to rub that over there and that that gets rid of the trace down line you see and it gives it a nice soft edge I'll just soften it again with my finger Yeah, I 
seats down there. Yeah, I, because the light's on it there, I can't really see it properly unless I do that, I'm afraid. So, you can see there's a dark, there's a darker bit coming through here. So I'll put that on. Gonna measure this. This is darker there. It's just above the where this st stuff comes up here. So just there. Put some more black in here. See how much blacker it goes. You know, when you rub it in with a finger, you can see what difference it makes. It just rubs it into the paper, and you lose. You actually lose the intensity of the colour. Um, so you can imagine what happens if you use the paper stump, because fingers aren't as bad as paper stumps. If you sort of smooth it out just gently. I have to remember to wipe your fingers all the time. I don't often do. Um, yeah, so what we're going to use next will be now we want to try and get something like this. So we use the white first, uh, but these these colours are going to be going through there. But we've also got them going over this area here, there, over the black. So I'm going to try and um, just get those on. Because it's darker, I don't really want a lot of white on here. I've got shadow on here, but it's behind my hand, so you should be able to see what I'm doing okay here. It's very, very light. I don't know if you... You could probably hear hear the pencil. It's going very lightly over the page, paper. Right, so even just doing that, it's, it's actually quite close to... There is a, a line coming through here. I want to get that in actually quite close to what we're seeing in the picture. Just putting that on, it's not far off at all really. We'll just pick out some bits, maybe put a bit, bit of grey over it. Very muted. Try and leave that line, that line going around. Let me just put a few more. really is the quick I think the quickest way of getting the hair fur look very quick right so we've got this that's going to come up on top of that this is the light yellow now this is the 102. What I'm following here is the fur, the fur, white, then 186, which was the, um, yeah, it's like a, a rusty colour, and the uh, 102, which is the yellow, and then again over with white, if you want to lighten it up a bit. But we want to try and keep it a bit on the darker side, so I'm just going to put in some of that now. So those three, if they're put on in the right sequence, they'll they'll be exactly that. But I, I do want it to be a bit darker, so just kind of turned it around a bit to get that darkness. That's quite light. Mm, put a bit of warmth in here.
this is this is a good challenge actually because you know this is this is a challenge for me because I don't just have the right colors to to pick you know for, I think oh yeah that's that creamy pencil I'll, I'll use that because you're mixing it's all a learning curve which I think could be good for you because it'll give you a real feel about well it's given me a real feel for what the colors do on top of each other and um, I think when you've you've got access to all the pencils you you actually you don't learn as much this is what I'm noticing here now I want to brighten that up a bit so I'm just going to put those white bits in there that's those bits we've already put in and little bits there Move that right down. I'm just seeing these, they need to be nice and bright there. See, I think as long as you get the direction of the fur going in the right place, it will look good. I'm just intensifying some of the colour up here because um, I particularly like that in a picture. As you probably heard me say over and over. I can see that we need some grey in here. Just a little bit. Keep that line coming down. And it's coming. You've got that in, and then you can just um, just want to just go over this little bit of yellow just to break it up a bit. That's a light yellow. Um, that was much more muted there, so I'll just go over that. I think just damp, darken it down with the the rusty colour. And you could probably put a bit more rust in here, you know. cats with lots of different colours in their hair, in their fur, it's great. They're so beautiful, aren't they, cats? It's, I've had quite a fascination for cats, actually. And I love dogs as well, but something about cats, they're so, I don't know, just kind of got an elegance I love, and they always look beautiful. They just do, they just look beautiful. I'm just going to put the mustard over that a bit. Just try and get it more of that. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this colour mixing like this. It's, it's really nice. Really nice to do. Okay, so we need to. I need to get this a bit lighter here. I 
you hold the pencil like this, you get a much lighter um, just put those little streaky bits in there. You get a much lighter feel to it all. You can see this this line needs a bit of uh, bringing down here. It's still flecky there, so don't go mad. Use that. Just try and use the paper. Need a bit more um, mustard in there, I think, to dot the end. It's good. And uh, a light yellow over it. Then the last. against the white there. And that's good. Alright, so I'm at the moment I'm gonna put this this line in here because that is that's an important line there and because I've just put in a few little white hairs and going down in that direction uh, we need to make that clear that that's that's there and it is broken up so I'll just break it up Some, uh, yeah, see what's happening there is this, that dark line there coming across here like that. I'm just fine tuning a bit here now. And I'm going to go over that with pink, the brighter pink, and make it kind of, so that was, that was dark grey, so I'm going over it with pink to get that kind of lilac-y look. So that's, that's a little bit bright, but we can go over it again with the, go over it with the grey. That, yeah, no, that was, that was black, now this is grey. Eventually you'll get something like the picture with just your few colours. As long as it looks different enough compared to what we've got next to it, it, it should look quite good. Just use your clever. Black's 
gonna have a bit of blue in there. Let's get our blue. This is the light blue, this is 140. It'll just give it a bit of shadow in there. Now, there's a little line coming down here. I'll put that in with blue. But it needs a bit of grey on it, I think. See, it's just there. And it, it needs to be, it needs to show up. And it needs a bit of the pink in it. And then we've kind of made that lilac y colour up again there. do for now. Now I'm going to carry on doing the what's this there? A little bit of black because it's it is quite strong isn't it black. And don't forget that that's going over all this lighter colour here. And we just kind of just follow a picture up. actually let those go through there a bit as well and give a bit more it gives a bit of more definition because there's a don't rub it all together though I've got enough for a lighter line there and then yes that's I've got a darker line coming through here ending that darker line there where it's coming through here you could you know you can hardly see it really but it's ending it just inside the right there just ending about there so this is what we're on with at the moment just just coming down just a little bit more just like a little definition there of her cheek more of this. Right. right, I'm going to just darken this up a bit here because it's really, it is darker and then we just put the bits of white on the top. They won't be white really, they'll just be, they'll just be dulled down a bit. It's the same here really. They all need dulling down a bit.
So yeah, it just gradually takes shape. You just have to build it up. Um, just look at the shapes. That's that's what you're doing really. It's just you're just looking at shapes. We're just going to put in the the top hairs now. So I think you know we've done enough on that. The eyes, you know, you can't really you can't really rush those. As I say, I'll probably go back to those either. But this kind of thing, no one's going to be thinking, oh, that hair that doesn't that. If the hairs are going in the right direction, that the hair will always look all right. No one's going to say, oh God, you know, what's that hair doing there? That's it. That's enough. Just dull that down because it's very dark. This bit here, so we've got this, this lovely white stuff coming down here, see through the lines there, and then we've got this star king, don't know what that, just looking at that bit there, that needs to be a bit wider now, and these can be a bit brighter because they're coming forward into the light more. real. This is the, the good thing about light. I know I've said it before but this is why you need a good photo. Because it does help you to really get the animal looking real and really as I said I heard recently somebody saying on YouTube that uh, if you get a good photo 85% of the work is done for you. I thought that's such a great way of describing it. Um, it, that says it all, doesn't it? It just that's the importance of getting a good photo to to draw. If you start off with a good photo, then it's all good. Just gonna do some. Just gonna, all right, just gonna measure this. Make sure I've got that right. So that's that's that bit there. That's kind of more or less level with that. And uh, now this bit, I'm just thinking, well, what's that bit? Is that that bit or is it that bit? Well, it's this bit because it's more or less level. So, you know, as things move about, as you're working on them, you'll need to keep measuring. That's going up there slightly. And then we've got, we've got a little bit of white stuff going on there. But it's not really white. We'll just knock that right back. This, I think, for a start, and blue, the blue because it, it's white, but it's 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 got that bluey look to it. All of this has actually. I'm just going to do it all over there. lovely and we've got a lovely blue in here put that in that will need some dark blue going over it and these are all sort of blue here Very light, very lightly going over this with blue. Very light. So yeah, I'm learning a lot doing this. I really am. Every picture that I do, every picture, uh, I don't know if you can see me or not. <laughs> um, I've had to wangle it a bit to keep out the shadows, but every picture that I've done I've actually uh, approached it in a, a unique way I've just looked at the picture and thought okay I could let's see how that goes and every picture that I've done I've learned 
a lot from every picture and I've I've been surprised at how you think you've got the knack and then you get your next picture to do and you have to, to you have to approach it differently but this is what I found for myself anyway and I've never really been able to understand how people can have a, a technique that they use on every picture because if you if you really want to capture that animal um, they're, they're, each picture is as unique as the animal that's all I can say so that's what I found anyway I think that's looking rather nice actually I think it's nice and all this business I like that you know the way it's kind of a bit rough looking because it actually looks like a drawing I think um, if you get it absolutely perfect it will take you months and it, it it will never look as good as a photo it'll look different um, it just depends what you like the look of for yourself what you want to achieve I could show you how to do that but for me it doesn't work for me I don't I don't really like the look of it so I don't do it I started off doing it like that and uh, many of my pictures still look okay in comparison to other people's because that's I just copied other people and on YouTube actually I just copied other people and learned like that really um, so I have found my own way of doing things and I think it's I think it's quicker it's more fun and the, your picture will actually look like a drawing or you know if you want to call it a painting a painting at the end of it so I'm pleased with that, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the way that's all looking. It looks nice and furry and soft. Uh, the hairs are all going in the right direction. We've got it going in the right ballpark. Um, 